Welcome to the Museum of Aquarium and Pet History. Thank you again for coming to our five minute videos. Today, we're doing Chalkware, the sequel. Remember we did a Chalkware video and we talked all about how it's plaster of Paris and it's not, it's kind of like poor man's porcelain and it's tacky like this one, very, very tacky, but you do need it if you have a mid-century modern house. So you remember that video. Well, anyways, I had a lady contact me and she had a big piece of Chalkware, very large. And she said, um, can you give me an approximate ballpark of what it's worth? And so I did. I said, well, I think on the market today it's worth this. And she's, then she came back a week later, would you want to buy it? And I said, well, I don't think it'll ship well. So I think you should try and sell it to a local antique shop. So she came back a week later and she said, well, how about a hundred dollar donation to my church? I said, okay, all right, I'll take it. So I actually sent $200 to her for her church and I got the chalkware in, which is in this box. And I've had it for a couple of weeks and the box is kind of hollow right here. And the chalkware's down here. And you don't like a box to be hollow anywhere, especially with chalkware. So if it came in in one piece, it was a good price. If it didn't, I uh, will be sad. My, my conservator, Lynn, will actually have a nice piece that she can try and put back together. Oops. So this is one of the larger pieces. Some of them came out of England. Um, this one I believe is American. And you know what? I got to give her credit. She did double box it. And it's in two boxes. Okay. All right. So this says aquarium. So, you know, I couldn't remember if this actually had the little fish tank that came with it or not. Most of the time, chalkware, the big pieces of chalkware that held a little fish tank, the fish tank is missing. Um, and some of them were little metal frame fish tanks and some of them were glass, one piece glass blown rectangular fish bowls, which were mostly blown in Germany and imported. But let's see. So this, uh, you know, she packed it exactly like I told her. It was shocking. And I'm very, very pleased. So I, I just want to thank her in advance for going to the trouble. Even though it's small bubble wrap, she did a really good job. You know, she has a double box. She used a lot of packing material. Hopefully I don't cut myself with this knife. So you can see this is the original little tank. Very, very cool. It has the original paint, green paint. Too bad there's not a little bisque mermaid inside. But very cool, original paint, original little aquarium. It's probably about, mm, I don't know if that's a one gallon or a half gallon, but it's very, very small. All right, so here's the true test. Now we're gonna open the chalkware. Is the chalkware in one piece or is it broken? We shall see. Uh-oh, there's the ninja knife. Whew. Respect the knife because the knife is dangerous. <laughs> so look at this. She used some spray foam <laughs> to, uh, to, to give some extra protection, which is pretty amazing. And you could see inside the spray foam, you know where you go to the hardware store and you buy a can of that insulation foam? That's what she did. Amazing. The problem is I can't get it out. <laughs> it's stuck. <laughs> All right, so this is going to take some time, so you're going to have to edit this video because I don't know if I can get this out in just a couple of minutes. We are performing major chalkware surgery here because there is foam everywhere, and I think the only way I can get this out is to cut the bag open 
and pull it out because the bag is, is definitely stuck to the chalkware or stuck to the, uh, what they did here. My God, that was major surgery. Ugh, that was a lot. So here we go, chalkware. And this is the larger pieces that are very, very collectible um, and incredibly difficult to ship. If you find these in Europe, especially in England, because a lot of them come up in England, they, um, the shipping will cost you more than what you pay for it. I, I guarantee it. And you could see Plaster of Paris, it's solid on the bottom. Although they did it like a, a pocket mold because it's hollow right here. Um, it's not lighted. Some of these actually have lights in them. But you could see it may have been repainted at some time because it looks like there might be a little blue underneath here. Like this may have been originally blue. So it probably was repainted. And this little tank went right there. There you go. A very difficult to take out of the box piece of chalkware that came from uh, a woman that did a phenomenal job packing it. I'm shocked. And uh, the, the hair looks like it's gold, iridescent gold. So, but it does look like it's been repainted. But anyways, that's it. Thank you guys for coming this week and we'll see you next week.